Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to get PDFs onto your iPad. There's two ways of doing this. One of them is to access connect using the iPad and download the PDF directly. The other way is to go through your computer and use iTunes. No, the straight through the iPad connect way is probably a little bit easier. So we'll do that one first. First of all, make sure that you are connected to the internet and open the Safari browser. Some of you will prefer to use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. However, to copy PDFs over to iBooks, you need to be using Safari for this, um, for this particular purpose. Then head to the connect page, sign in as usual, and head to the class from which you want to download the text or resource. Sometimes these will be located in the content section, other times they will be located in the library. In this case, it's in the library. So I've put my textbooks in the separate folder called textbooks. I'm going to head into there. Now I'm going to click the file, which is Dwyer 7. That's the one that I want. And then a little dialog box will come up saying click to view. Once you have clicked this, you'll have to give it a couple of minutes or hopefully less than that, hopefully 30 seconds or so to load. Then if you tap the screen in the top right hand corner, it will say open in another app. Click that one and then choose copy to iBooks. Once you have done this, the file will copy across and will be saved onto your device to access for as long as you wish to. So that's how you load PDFs onto your iPad using Connect. What you might notice in some classes though is that the teacher will have to have broken down the textbook into smaller PDFs with certain chapters in each of them. And the reason for this is that we have a size limit for the files that we can upload to Connect. Now, rather than having more than one file for the different chapters of the same book, what you might prefer to do is take in a USB thumb drive, get a copy of the full book from your teacher, and then use that file to load onto your iPad. That way you'll have the whole book in the same place rather than across different chapters. And that's what we're gonna do now. The first thing that you will need to do is connect your iPad to your computer as shown and open up iTunes. Once you have done this, head to the book section by clicking the icon with the three dots. Then click file, add files and select the books that you wish to copy using the dialog box. Then click the iPad symbol and scroll to the bottom of the summary page. Make sure the manually manage music and videos box is ticked. Then Head back to the book menu and simply highlight and drag all the PDFs you want into the iPad. Some people prefer to have their iPad sync automatically. This is useful if you have every PDF you need in your iTunes library, but it will erase anything you have downloaded to your iPad directly from Connect. For this reason, I do not recommend doing things this way.